Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be speaking regarding Comet K examination and finally I will be giving some tips to score well in your Comet K. Now before beginning, why do you need to write Comet K? You know that Bangalore is an IT hub and many students wish to take admission in one of the colleges in Bangalore or anywhere in Karnataka. So if you wish to take admission in one of the colleges in Karnataka, you need to write Comet K examination. Comet K examination is conducted throughout India. In Karnataka, some students have misconception that if they write KC, it is enough and they do not required to write Comet K. But I recommend the students from Karnataka and other states also to write Comet K examination. Now you may be thinking what is the competition level of Comet K examination compared to JEE and other private institution examinations like BITSAT, VIT, Triple E, etc. Here the number of students appearing for the examination is too low. The number of students appearing will be around 60,000 to 70,000. And the examination level is between easy and moderate. So you have the chances of getting good rank in this examination. Now who are eligible to apply for Comet K examination? Any student across India who have completed his class 12th with physics, chemistry and maths with aggregate 45% and if you belong to some of the categories like OBC, SC, ST then aggregate 40% is required. Now which are the colleges that comes under Comet K? Most of the colleges which are affiliated to Vishwishwara Technological University Belgium comes under Comet K. The top three institutions under Comet K are are RVCE, MSRIT and BMSCE. And if you want me to make a videos based on top 10 or top 15 colleges that comes under Comet K, please let me know in the comments. Now we shall move on to our main topic, how to score well in Comet K. Now I'll be giving some 8 points, please make a note. First thing, you should know the complete portion, what are included in the syllabus. Secondly, you should know the exam pattern. Hope you know these two things because there is only one month remaining for the exam. Thirdly, you should make a short notes on the important topics. Fourth one, you should uh, solve some previous year question papers. Fifth, you need to solve more and more problems related to mathematics and few related to physics. Sixth one is, you should know your weak point. Seventh thing is, you have to work on this weak point. Practice as much as you can. Eighth thing is, you should stay motivated. Now here I am displaying the exam syllabus. Please refer it. And one more thing I would like to say that uh, please don't refer your class 11th textbooks. Only refer your class 12th NCRT books. That's more than enough. Because as I said, exam level lies between easy and moderate. So class 12th textbooks are more than enough. Mainly NCRT textbooks, not other textbooks. In this exam, you have got 3 hours of time that is 180 minutes to solve 180 problems or questions like you have uh, 60 questions for physics, 60 for chemistry and 60 for mathematics. So you have to decide the timings for each subject. According to me, first you need to tackle chemistry within 30 to 40 minutes. Chemistry will be damn easy because most of the questions will be theory based and few problems will be asked, some 10 to 15 problems will be asked. Then after you complete chemistry, you need to attempt physics. Check out what theory questions are given. Answer them first and then answer the problems of physics. Then after you complete physics, then you go to mathematics. Minimum one hour will be remaining for mathematics. Minimum one hour will be there. And if you finish physics faster, you'll be having one and a half hour or something. So keep mathematics at the end. And one more thing, there is no negative marking, so you need to answer all the questions. Whether right or wrong, you need to answer. If it is right, you'll get one mark. Or else no mark will be detected. I'd like to give one tip. Look, all the questions will be shuffled and answers will be also shuffled for everyone. It's a computer-based online examination, so everything will be shuffled. If the question is too difficult and you cannot answer, most probably the answer can be option C or option A. It's not true, but uh, I guess answer may lay in option C or option A. And uh, you can choose as you wish. It's based on your luck if you don't know the answer. Now we shall have a look on the important topics. First we'll begin with chemistry. In chemistry I cannot say what is uh, important, but uh, a few topics Okay, few topics are there which you must learn. Topics like uh, biomolecules, polymers, chemistry in uh, everyday life. These are the topics which include theory and transition elements. These include theory, so learn the theory properly and problems from uh, solid states and a few theories also asked from solid states. Then uh, solutions also include some uh, problems. Electrochemistry and chemical kinetics. These are the important lessons you must learn. Some chemical reactions are asked, then uh, some molecular formulas, then uh, compound linking, such questions are also asked. 
Now we'll look at the important topics in physics. In physics, the main topic is moving charges and magnetism, magnetism and matter. Here five to six questions will be asked. So you need to learn these two topics properly. Then we have current electricity and alternating current. Here about four questions are asked from each topic. Then waves, three to two questions will be asked from waves. Confirm, it's confirm. Then nuclei, in nuclei that general formula is given, right? One or two question will be asked uh, based on that formula. In semiconductors, uh, you'll have some theory. Don't take uh, much stress on those lessons. Uh, theory will be asked in semiconductors. Now looking at the important topics in mathematics. Basically, if I say in easy words, if you know differentiation and uh, integration, you can crack maths easily. Then you have got trigonometric equations, then probability and random variables. If you know this much, you can crack maths easily in Comet K. Comet K maths is actually easy, but uh, compared to chemistry and physics, maths will be difficult. So I cannot predict properly what questions will be asked from mathematics. Now, since only one month is remaining for the examination, I think uh, you should try solving uh, previous year question papers rather than uh, referring the textbooks. You should try solving uh, question papers and if you don't know the answers, you can refer from NCRT textbooks. And yeah, Comet K conducts uh, mock tests. Some three mock tests are conducted by Comet K in their website. So I've given the link in the description. Comet K website link and uh, the previous year question paper link is also provided in the description. So please visit. Don't take much stress regarding the examinations. Examination will be very easy. Be calm, do your preparations, go to the exam hall, don't get nervous. Everything will go fine. If you have any kind of doubt, please ask me in the comments or DM me on Instagram. If you find the information provided by me was helpful, please share it with your friends. Keep like and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and see you next time.